WWE superstar Asuka has seemingly done it all in professional wrestling, including taking a real-life beating during an intergender match in Japan. Long before she competed as Asuka, she worked alongside Naomichi Marafuji to battle the team of Miko Satomura and Minori Suzuki. Watching the match is disturbing for some fans as Asuka is clearly being hit and Suzuki does not hold back. Was this a shoot and if so, why was the match allowed to continue? Through the years, the match has achieved notoriety and like many controversial happenings in wrestling, has taken on a life of its own. Fans know that shoots do happen. Shoots occur when one or more wrestlers fight for real in the ring instead of choreographing their matches. We have covered some of wrestling's most scandalous shoots, so where does this fit into wrestling's sketchy side? Asuka has a lengthy pro wrestling career dating back to 2004 and one unlike few other competitors. Her skills have been put into high demand and her business acumen has allowed her to do things few female competitors have done. One such thing was her promoting her own shows. On 16th June 2014, she produced one of her events that involved her teaming with Naomichi Marafuji to battle Miko Satomura and Minoru Suzuki. At the time, she was competing under a ring name Kana, which explains why the show was called Kana Pro. Intergender matches are unheard of in the WWE due to the company wanting to avoid the perception of men hurting women. Instead, the WWE books mixed tag matches where men must compete against men and women against women. Whilst things occasionally get mixed up in the ring, not pun intended, it's usually women beating up male opponents. Not only was Kana wrestling against a man, she was wrestling against Minori Suzuki, a wrestler known for his hard-hitting style. Suzuki, a former MMA fighter, is known for working stiff in the ring, so was Kana asking for trouble when she booked the match? Would Suzuki take it easy on Kana during the match rather than work his normal style? Fans couldn't believe what they saw when Kana squared off against Suzuki. Suzuki not only threw her around in the ring with his notable grappling skills, but he unloaded on her with slaps, punches, and kicks. The referee tried to step in only to get thrown down. Kana's tank team partner came in and Suzuki slapped him around too. Eventually, Suzuki and his partner won, putting a stop to the mayhem. What had caused Minoru to seemingly snap and why didn't anyone stop the match? Was there some sort of receipt for a pass incident? It turned out that the match went exactly as Kana wanted it to. Minoru was one of the wrestlers Kana admired before she became a wrestler and she wanted to not only step in the ring with him, but get the full Suzuki experience, with the strong style worker not holding back. Reportedly, Suzuki was reluctant to do so, but Kana persuaded him and he went along. This wasn't a case of Suzuki going into business for himself. Minoru wasn't looking to make a statement that women didn't belong in the ring or that intergender matches degraded the sport. Instead, Kana wanted to show her toughness and by all accounts, she did. This was an example of the classic wrestling storyline of an underdog taking a beating and refusing to quit, even if the outcome was inevitable. Some fans have argued that Kana was also emulating Suzuki's ring style. Minoru is known for telling opponents to hit him because he likes to inflict and take pain. Anyone familiar with Asuka's career knows that she broke into wrestling due to her love of men's wrestling, including Japanese greats such as Antonio Inoki, Maeda Akira, Nobuhiko Takada, and Minoru Suzuki. Her style is a mix of MMA and grappling, so getting a strong style match against one of her idols makes sense. In addition, Asuka would work several intergender matches during her career in Japan, including another against Minoru Suzuki. This wasn't an isolated incident, but the match did enter wrestling legend due to its stiff style. While the match is difficult for some fans to watch, it's an example of Asuka's willingness to step out of traditional wrestling norms for women, something she did throughout her career in Japan. Asuka wasn't afraid to evoke controversy through work shoots in the media or organize her own wrestling shows to do things her way. This match with Suzuki is brutal, and Minoru treats Asuka as he would any male opponent, working a strong style. However, it was by design, and it only happened after Asuka repeatedly asked him to do so. Anyone who thinks differently is wrong. What would you guys think of this intergender match? Let us know in the comments down below, and I'll see you next time with some more wrestling content.